Welcome back. Today I want to talk about a new short ID which is Cray. Cray is a fast computer manufacturer. You can see that the sector is rather negative. It's in a short mode with a high rating for shorts and all these stock specific data are uh, rather negative. So the the question here is, are we going to short a breakdown here below the uh, support level of 26 or are we going to short a bounce to the resistance level of about 27.5? So this is what we are going to study today. If we look at the general pricing structure uh, you can see that this uh, the, the price is in a downtrend that started about one two three four five six seven eight nine about 180 days ago so I will use 180 days to test uh, the, the shorting on a pullback on a bounce, excuse me, shorting on a bounce to uh, resistance. So let's go to the breakout calculator. Here we are. We first have to download the data, Cray, then set the type of trade with a short. Okay, and we are going to short a bounce, but I want to short the bonds on 180 days. Let's see how, what this gives. Okay, you see we are going to short the bonds up to 26.7, which is 1% higher than the 5 MA. And uh, if I go back, okay, here is the supply level of Cray which is very high so it means that all these people are going to sell uh, but if I go back to this figure you can see 26.5 is here maybe we have to test uh, uh, a bond a little bit higher and to do that the simplest way is simply to click on this sensitivity analysis and then sensitivity analysis will try a wide range of prices. You see here we increase the price, we are 26.44, we are going to increase until the top of the envelope which is 4%. Okay, so we see here that we can indeed short between 26.44 and 27.5 which is our target resistance level. So if I type a 4% entry price here, 4%, of course I have to get rid of this. So we can see that the returns are positive, but I only have 5% chance to hit the entry price today. So most probably I have to lower this level, 3%. You see, we have now a 6% chance to hit the entry price, and then we continue until we reach a, a good probability of 10%. Okay, that's the first trial. The second trial is to try to short a breakdown below the low of the past days which is uh, let's say 26 okay so I will write here breakdown for breakdown analysis usually I use a higher longer period like 300 days which should be good I have to erase this level and then I start with a value of 26, yeah, okay, 26, 26, okay, so we can see that there, there are a lot of trades here, 
the risk return ratio is okay, it's not excellent, so I will try here a breakdown on volume. So here we have 35 cases. So if I do breakdown on volume with a price of 26, you can see I only got 9 cases instead of 25, but the risk return ratio is much higher. And the probability to hit the price is 78%. So this means that today, if we close below this entry price on the high volume, then it will be excellent to short the stock. We can also use this sensitivity analysis. Then we can see that uh, we can short until this becomes blue, which is 55.7. So this is the short area on the breakdown. Okay, so what is also interesting with uh, this sensitivity analysis is that you can also calculate the sensitivity to the number of days you own the stock. For example, on a breakdown of 26, I will calculate the sensitivity on the number of days. And you can see that after some time, you can keep the stock for a long period, but the risk-reward ratio doesn't change at all, and your profit doesn't change. This means that this is a short-term trade. It's only for a few days. And we can see it here. The trade duration is one, two, or three days, and not more than that. Okay. And it's clear that if you want to hold a trade for a longer period, you need to use higher stops. For example, if I use here 5% stop level, I will recalculate this breakdown. Okay, and if I use now the day sensitivity analysis, You see that the trade duration is increasing, average trade duration is increasing because I use more days. But the risk return ratio is not as interesting as it was before with a much uh, closer stop of 2.5%. So that is the kind of uh, analysis that is interesting to make so that you know what sort of stock you want to take on certain uh, trades. Okay, I hope that uh, was clear enough. Thank you.